hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today we are going to cover the phone pay api again uh, so i have previously made a video of the phone pay api with the laravel and php but i want to make the video with the phone pay api using the node.js today so uh, relatively everything is the same as uh, for the php but there are some uh, tweaks and turns in case of uh, apis in node.js so that we will go through we will not need this sdk part obviously i am i have figured out how to do this with this though it gives an error on this using this one phone page original sdk one okay so the rules are the same here also you have the same object here and uh, you have to make the request with uh, the full payload base 64 then the endpoint then the sample salt key then the salt key index and it will create an SHA hash where the three one hash and plus one should be added and then the checksum value will be created. So this is the key formulation of uh, creating and if you can create it in any of the languages then it will be easy for you to uh, make the payments and all those things stuff. So first uh, let's run our server and see what we have done exactly i am using a straight way um, express generator to generate an app i am not writing that code fully uh, from scratch so i generate an app with the express generator i have configured npm start with the node one so it will start with the node one actually so it's uh, listening in port 3000 right now okay so uh, the same interface um, like this one the same interface is the same so I have used uh, EJS for creating this interface so let's first see what I have done exactly this is very simple if you click on the pay button it will obviously redirect you select the net banking SBI pay 100 test test and login once I uh, select the process is two, three, one, and here is the response I get back. So it just goes as butter, buttery smooth here. So there is not much changes, but there are quite a bit of changes uh, when we go through the code. Actually, when I was creating this example, uh, some of the comments were asking about the Node.js part. So uh, I thought, uh, why should I create one this one for uh, for this? node.js part exactly so let's drive into the code okay so as i have uh, used a generator express generator the app has been already generated i have put some comments and i am using the ejs templating okay so the view file has the index file this is the file that we can see obviously and this is my response part here but which response has everything okay oh. Now, I have created the route over here, index route. It is automatically created. User route is not required. I have done all the things inside the index route. So, there are quite a bit of uh, thing there. The Axio is required, the SHA26 is required, and the Unicode, uh, Unicode is required, obviously. So, I have first, in my first route, that message would be showing out to you. If you remove this one, this message will be showing up to you as uh, this is the one which has. Okay, so now after that, the pay uh, route obviously, I have the unique uh, UUID for the transaction, merchant transaction stored into my local storage. Obviously, though I'm using Node.js, I have used the package store that can uh, help us to store in the local storage obviously so the merchant is the same everything is the same the transaction is dynamic and my return url is this one so a local host 3000 and this return so i have uh, my salt key the index the salt key and index already given over here salt key index is already given so nothing to find out 
so here i have turned the base 64 payload obviously it has been completed to the payload this is the tricky part when you figure this out how to create the checksum the rest of the thing is fine but you have to create out uh, figure out how to create the checksum so that i have figured out with the combination and permission of some of the packages uh, so this is the base 64 obviously and once the base 64 is there i append the uh, path obviously with the salt key and then i use the sha256 string okay now it create a checksum here and once the checksum is here i have used axio to post the request whereas it has shown some sdk over here to post the request it should be working but uh, in my case it is not working i have already installed it but uh, this package is absolutely not working to this extent here right now so i have used axio in, instead of that to create the to send the checksum and send the payload and it works absolutely fantastically so i get the response the response is same it's getting to the redirect url it's going now when i obviously return back from the payment gateway so there are a couple of things i have mentioned over here that need to be checking care so the payment status the merchant the transaction and the refund id should not be blank obviously and i have put in some comments over here so you should be also matching this if condition i have written an if condition for the practical for the actually production level of work so you have to store the transaction id that is stored over here in your local storage you have to match the transaction id you have to in this it is not the local storage in this it is it would be the db obviously uh, the merchant id should be the merchant id we have obviously and the amount that is written by the payment gateway should match the amount that we are sending so this should be matching otherwise uh, hackers can be trying to penetrate this one uh, with different uh, rules uh, so i have just written the transaction id and i have again created the salt now here i have used the status as the api suggested the status api that is over here check the status and this is api i have against used axio for this one i i wanted to use this but somehow this is uh, some different method but it's still uh, getting me error on this thing okay so i have again uh, figured out and again used axio to get my response obviously my response are coming in and once i get the response i'm showing it back to the page so this is the entire uh, section uh, where uh, where you can you use the phone pay payment gateway to obviously uh, pay the things and uh, make the request and uh, i would like to share the code obviously in the um, details of the video and you can download them thank you so much if you like my videos do subscribe to my channel